Um, you know, we asked him. I know uh, Chris Miller's attending. Um, Tom Chan could be attending. Don Anderfield could be attending. The mind Mason. So. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he is in that city with no Wi-Fi I did hear that um, Tim and Tim owns the house next to Frank Miller, but it's going to be going to be finding so. He's uh, um, but that's all. And Jim Buck. Is Mark going to be? No. Can you hear me? I don't know if you're answering me. I can't hear you guys. You sound like you're completely underwater. 
What's that? Yeah, there's a lot of background noise, but no. I can kind of hear you now. So we're pretty uh, <laughs> echoey coming through the uh, online. Well, I can hear you now, so it might just be because so many people are talking at one time. Yeah, there's a lot of people talking, but uh, that might a lot of echoing going on in here. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay. I'm talking directly into this speaker microphone. So depending on how this thing goes forward, um, we may have the speaker talk directly into it. Yeah. And I mean, so far, I'm the only one on. To, oh no! It yeah, looks like folks are starting to connect now. I see one more just connected. Yeah. I was gonna say it was. Yeah, but it's nice to have the information. They can actually hear the talking in the background. Yeah, there's a lot of conversations going on. Yeah, I can hear it clear now. Just the comments that are watching. Hi, Bob. Okay, hold on.
All right. We're uh, still wondering how I think everybody signed in on coming. Uh, we're going to go through and talk about the next steps here and get involved. This is your project. We're just part of the team to help you get through this. There are people out on. Yeah, what if I take this up? Yeah, you know. Can we get a roll call of people that are on? I know Crystal here is who else is on? Silence. Okay, they're going to stay on. Um, everything got a hand out here. Our extras that we can take for people that weren't here, pick them up at the social call. Uh, just some energy as far as uh, who's present. The owner, Dacia Latina, and we have Don Green here present. And Chris, that online. Um, as far as you people here, I'm Jim Cotton, I'm the project manager on this project. Andy Karen, computer, project engineer, yeah. and Trevor, who will be our field representatives. So you'll see them around. MJO, contractor, Bob Hawkins, their project manager. And Bob, you're in the, Bob Anderson is going to be supervisor, MJO. The purpose of this is to introduce you to the team, which I just did. Uh, review the construction activity of the contractor, Bob goes MJO. Uh, through the responsibilities of the resident, the main part of that is Lateral and provide non grant opportunities for low income households if, uh, if they need it. So I'll cover that. Um, to start out, do a project review of work. If you want to just quickly go through uh, the scope of work. Yeah. For the uh, project. We review that right now. Well, the project is a this water pipe to be in three Um, three basin on the north side of the highway. The contract on fairly or main and uh, on the surface of Okay. You see, this person didn't kill the apple. Did it? Did anyone else have that? Did that go in? Yeah, there's a, the uh, system, so not sure that that device here and the microphone. Okay. That's okay. That was something. Yeah. Down. Really mm -hmm. annoying. I agree. So the the uh, on the railroad track. Um, the septic tanks will be installed here. Force main will here, and that's the suction system, transmission main the drain field, and the drain field. And the construction schedule on that we start in August. Well, I'll the schedule. So, as far as the project was providing funding, um, total projects, we can make the first three in USDA rule provided $700,000 plus a loan. 
And Eagle uh, provided for some, uh, a substantial public health risk that you have for $502,987. So basically, we ended up with 96% grant percent. What was that number, though, including the name? What is that number? Don't make yourself look the physical number. You're saying about a one three million dollars, six thousand per day. What's that report? What is that? What actual cost? Fifty-eight thousand dollars is a loan. You were listening. No, you just said home. Oh, you didn't. So, and how many thousand dollars project? Okay, the only project go through the funding, your rates, what the cost of you already out there. Uh, there's a resolution to cover that. Great resolution. This is an information, not new. Out there for Actually, this is that it's been just 11 years. They're different. Okay, well, what you have is the way this is going to be done. All the items flooded, the people crossed, and forward. There's no stopping, and if you stop, you go to the power of the cloud, you'll be Great. And then, that's up to you. Hey, public entities just to do something with this. Filing a good to money. You're a little okay. So, Bond, Three weeks, materials. 
I'm hoping maybe we might get early. So we got it for um, 10 that we bring in and clear. And on August 17th, we got where we're going to start is right now with the station here. So we're going to start the litigation thing is 100 something the hill trail. Work our way. Uh, is that salt here? Yeah. Salt. Yeah. We'll, we'll be working on it. And we'll be spending a couple of weeks. As we're going, we're going to be disrespect anybody. I don't think there's any driveways or if there, I don't know what kind of homeowner have to get through that. No, they'll have to go around or they'll be blocked off. There ain't no way to go around. Is yeah. there any? Is there any? Yeah, there's a blockage put up by the this bridge is up for the thing. But there is there is there. Right. You know, they all got front access. You got front access, but the only access is the place yeah. to come around and run. But it will be, you know, as you know, but at the end of the day, we'll just have a problem with a small at the end of the pipe. We'll be backfilling the coming. So, what time do you plan on starting in the morning? Real. I mean, we right away. 
They're not going to be down. We had a lot of service. Yeah. I know man same thing. They got in county. Our attack, he was saying that there's water lay all the way down the bay into the And he was that, you know, the operation would be with it tomorrow. So. Did you guys come across the old? I think it's quite thin. In my basement, my water main, other pipes sticking up. Yeah. The old water. That's the old Did you guys know about that? No, no that was the other side of it. Water line. Duck that line. Pardon me? The line the main is duck that line. Two mains are in the house. Yeah. The old water line. So so after we have the period of the middle of August, the end of August right here. And then as we're going, we're gonna be uh backfill everything and doing our service to the property plan at the same time. So we're kind of just trying to push everything out as we're going. But any drain, obviously, the address them and create a problem with drainage. No, I just put that system in. That comes that really and comes yeah. right to that property and then a year right behind the place. Yeah, it's and that's brand new. They just concrete. It's concrete. Yes. Are we crossing? Is that, is that a conflict? No. I'm sorry. I'm sure that the, the conflict, talking about that screen that goes across. Oh, well, well, well underneath. Okay. It comes right up the road, right underneath. They had to black top, and they go into the property, that sends it right there. The and then it actually behind the Not big the sewer main is pretty deep, relatively deep right there. Okay. And the storm is not going. Yeah. Or not. We'll be. Okay, how do you do that? The sanitary? Yeah. In that area? Do you know? Yeah. About eight feet deep. Is that gravity fed or pump? Gravity. Everything's. Everything. So cups like this, we're going to be going um, the first two weeks, and then we're going to then wait the more that's gravity. All gravity is about right here, and that's gravity for directional board. One little spot that right here. So this is all gravity. So it feels like all these houses come to this map right here and into the lift station. The same thing right here on this side, yeah. on the north edge. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got gravity coming. This also right here catches here. Gravity comes this direction, and this direction comes to the list. And then the list, there's a force lane that comes in the here, and then connect um, to the bottom way last year. Connect to that. And corn, six foot. First thing's not real deep. It's just six I saw the guy. Yeah. It's supposed seven. to be six deep, you know. It ain't six foot. No. Well, well, I mean, ours is yeah. six foot very well, well, where we He was this deep. In we're going to get where we at. We're going to be in our. Plus, underneath the water, at least. pretty deep. Yeah. That would be very deep.
with residents are right here, right here. But we'll check guys all day for we're gonna be crossing there. This is basically all four. You gotta dig in panels in here. So I'm not sure if there's panels that they're you know, all way close to the driveway. And if that's the case, you know, drive close for four or five hours. You know, but we'll coordinate ahead of time that you drive close for three, four, four times at night during the track. But we will not say anything else. Always get out. Always, you know, by evening, everything, everything on the holes like where they end the pipe today. Put a stick in, it might be a little, you know, but they you better get out for them. Well, we will not have to take it for the job. How far up the hill would you be with this? This just, uh, you know, we're boxing, which yeah. isn't quite far, maybe. You might not. Yeah. yeah. I thought I Yeah, we have that. You know, September. September. Because it has to be 
We will. Yeah, we have everything running. Okay, station, train field, everything got the operation right now. They're projecting for Jan of August. At that, we will send out a notice. So what we did, a reminder of what the procedure is going to be, and you'll have to move forward. You've got your notice, and then nine days will start for having. Well, well, exactly. Exactly. The ordinance and other communities had this happen where the town will probably end up having to push that date up in the spring. Right. Wait a second. You turn on 90 days after completion in October. Our price goes from $1,000 to $1,500 to $3,000, even $5,000. Now we're premium because of the weather. And in some address and right on record, it says that will be different tonight. I don't know what I'm talking about. If you turn on a young October and we get a 90, we got a that leaves November, December, January. You talk to any construction. Let me hold on, let me finish. Go ahead and finish. You were listening to me. You I just said that. I to the spring. It's been done in this community. I like it right for it. The town will have to go and decide. There's not a word here to say we're going to do that. Okay? This thing is for you of what's going to happen. On the That's what I'm talking about. If it's in the end of October, you got a couple months before the weather. And if it's done, the township has no way but to push it off the breaks for 90 days. Okay, they're not okay, that's still quick. It's not gonna happen. It doesn't happen really? any on the record officially. I am not Chip, but I can tell you in every other work the town work with the residents. They're not your end. We're not your we're here to try to help you. You take it a year. And it's a grind a year. You give us 90 days. Yep. Guess what? That 11 years paid off too. Because no, it, it cost more. Did not cost you more. It cost you a heck of a lot more. If this was done five years ago, 10 years ago, you would have had 25%, not a more. No, I actually should have turned your pocket and taken the here back because in all DEQ demanded this for me to get, they ended up paying for it. That's a record. Right? I don't see that one. Well, then you better not get the jury and have a good idea. And that's fine. That's been a different situation because the DEQ will unquote consent orders on you won't do this project because you have brought to a joint service. And that consent will come with dates and it will come with fines. And those fines will be paid by the but you're like me. I'm, I'm, I'm a problem. I know, and this is if you look at 11 years of your life, now you're talking 90 days without some kind of affirmation. That's been in their work. And that turns around and puts a big problem on her because now it's equal or even our cost to look up your ladder because you waited until October. Yeah, that's the word. When we get they ran off. Uh, well, snow was, but we told them it was springtime, but the ground dries out. You can't go in snow now. And once the ground dries out, then the factors came in by then. And it is right. the snow came. Again, like again, it's only something that is verbal. We need assurance from some kind of documented form. That if this happens, because yes, yeah, we're the ones who are held on the line. That needs to be taken up at the board to amend the ordinance if it runs late. Okay, if the 90 days the weather doesn't, the weather comes in a winter or start in summer, you have, there's only 30 days.
and we will have pictures throughout construction and then after construction how it was restored so we'll have that documentation if you if there's any questions you have about what it used to look like versus what it looks like if it doesn't meet what you currently have are better then you can come and ask and we'll look at the pictures and say okay yeah mgo probably needs to put a little more seat in or whatever grade is a little different but i can tell you they're really good at coming in and restoring things and working with you uh, we've worked with MGO on many projects and they're going to take care of you uh, and and work with you really close as we are so I don't think there's any on metered customers there's a flat rate in there if someone was on metered you're going to be metered based on your water meter that you have so the flow that you use from your water meter is what you will be billed on as far as that five five dollars per thousand we talked about the financial assistance. The other thing is if there's any, if you know of anyone that sold their property uh, or, or moved and still has it, but has changed addresses, if that could be relayed to the township so we can keep a, a good record so we can get the notification out when it's time to hook up because you will be notified with a similar package. Okay, systems up and running you're good to good to connect okay um and again working and being prepared for that knowing what kind of schedule we're on um you have that information now that you can hit the ground running and uh, get some of that taken care of as far as once this system is hooked up and you're hooked up there's a section in here that outlines um, a lot of different things that is that are not acceptable to be put in the sewer. It's common sense stuff because um, it is a drain field. You know, you're not going to want to put oils and gases and whatever in uh, toxic, toxic or odor type products into your sewer, and which you follow now, especially if you have a septic system now. So this is a real uh, similar system because it is a drain field. It does not. It doesn't have any like a mechanical plant capabilities of breaking that kind of stuff down. So there's a whole list there for you to look through and and to just be vigilant on on what you put in the system. Jim, can I just step from Franklin Township stands for we have pumps and that. And the only thing you want to see in there is number one, number two, tissue paper, no flushable wipes, even though they say flushable, they jam our pumps. And we've had issues with that. That was other times on cold pumps, that flushable wipes, cleaning cloths, still flushing down there, hypodermic syringes, still flushing down there. I mean, if you want that system to last, and the one of the things I do is I try to keep the cost down as low as I can because I'm a sewer customer up here and I would do the same for you. Now, what about? Uh, um, Kitchen disposal. Um, that, that would go down there, but yeah. like Greece there, I can tell you something. I work for Holton Housing during the week, but that's my full time job. And people are down Greece down there, and they run hot water and 30 feet down a drain. Guess what the grease does? It shells back up. Yep. Yeah. And yep. we're out there with a snake there trying, and oh, I ran hot water. And I said, but you don't understand, it gets 30, 40 feet down, and the grease starts to get. Yep. Bob has to leave, so do you have any last? Do you time? have my? Does they have my cell phone? I get your number? card. I don't have a card, but can I get your name, phone number. Yep. Okay, it's Bob Hawking. H O C K I N G. Hold on. H O C K I N G. Okay. Okay, my cell number is three seven zero eight nine five eight, and the office number is. 482-8965. And you'll always get a hold in one of those numbers. You're gonna Be always ready get for a surprise because Baco, when they knew you got the bid, they couldn't wait to get their pump off the end of that pipe and run <laughs> like hell. So and I'll tell you right now, they laid that pipe, and the first time when they thought they were gonna get the bid, <laughs> should have seen the water shoot out of that. Yeah. That's why they put a pump on it and had that damn thing running for about six days until they knew they weren't getting it. Of course, man. 
Yeah, they were they were testing it, pressure testing. Yes, yeah. that was a uh, requirement. We had them pressure testing. Why would you sit there and cut a pipe full of water? They had a leak. They did. That's why we had them. You should have seen them testing. guys scatter out of that hole. I was watching them. I know. I know. <laughs> they, they, they had their a, HDP. But yeah, they, yeah, they they must they have been a fusion fusion, fusion, fusion joint. joint blow, yeah, yeah. They, they, they had a joint blow during testing. Mm -hmm. That's why we have them test. As a matter of yeah. fact, every line they're putting in is also going to be tested. Okay, that's part of the quality. You're running control. pressure. You're running. I'm a former combat engineer. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So you understand, and then you I know, understand a yep. lot more than what you're giving me credit for. So yeah, feel free to call me. You're, you're going to get a hold of me. Either, either one of those numbers, you'll always get a hold of me. So if you have any concerns or problems, just call me. So I won't be out here every day, but I'll be checking a lot with my with, with the supervisor foreman. But any concerns or anything, call me. When the hands place. Don't don't, like don't wait. I'd, I'd rather just call me. Don't let it. Don't wait, just call. Yeah, I'd rather this place is pretty much empty. Nobody's been in there for what, three, four years yeah, now? I don't think so. And Matson's, their place is operational, then my place. And you got Tim's place is next. Yeah. And then you got Boyd's place is the one after that, then Lake and Linda. That's all on this this side. Be your first crew. Yeah. But that's the easy but, crew. Yeah. <laughs> but any issues, just don't be don't call yeah. me. Okay. I'd rather not. Don't wait, you know, like, oh, two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. I like addressing issues right away. So. I just rather than not start before seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, they're, they're not going to. Baco did that many yeah, times. No, we're not going to do that. What's that? You're so moving. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're not. Also, okay. Emmett Bajorn will be the, our key uh, observer out there. So if you want his cell number as well. 906 250. 250. Nine six six seven. It's an old century tell number. Two five zero is an old century number. Yeah. Century tell. That's a really old cell phone number. Did it take any time? Have you seen a cell phone? It's a flip. Yeah. Yeah. It's one still got the flip. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for your time. Thanks, Appreciate Bob. Appreciate it. Uh, with that, are there any other questions? If I understand correctly, the fee structure does that that's completely brand new fee on top of the water costs that yes. we're already paying? Yes. Yep. And that fee takes effect once you hook up. Once you're hooked up. Yep. And if you're not hooked up after the 90 days, it takes effect. Right. Because they have to pay the, the bond. <clears throat> Anything else? You want to explain those six, Jim? Um just so people are in here, let these people know that the ones that are in here can get them from the township. Yes. Take one of these. Okay, and Emmett, you have a sheet that they can put their yep. name on and address. And like I explained, place them where you would like to see your lateral come into your property. And that's where the contractor and Emmett will look to make sure that at that location, we can get a 1% minimum slope and still meet and hit your lateral coming out of your house. Oh, deeps have got to be coming out of the house? Whatever your existing lateral is coming out now. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> only like two foot. I make sure it's buried with snow every winter. Yeah, well, you probably, that's something you're going to have to be conscious of, obviously, and continue. Because if you want it, it's up to you if you want. If you can I drop found it, my tank by starting at my house and digging yeah. my way to my tank. Yeah, okay. That's how I found my stuff. Yeah. No, we'll so one thing you can do is outside the house, if you're that shallow, you can probably drop at that oh, point. Oh, I went to. Yeah. yeah. So we'll have to, and Emma can work with you on mm -hmm. that. No, yeah. Emma can or you be, can insulate too. Right? Will Emma uh, be distributing yeah. these uh, to the people that we're not here? We're, yeah. we're going to, um, yeah. Don yeah. is going to take them. And that's what he wanted me to explain. I was getting to that. <laughs> so anyone not here can pick them up at the township hall. Okay. And the township will keep record of who's picked them up and who hasn't. So if you have a neighbor that isn't here, or wasn't listening in that you're aware of, let them know that they can pick one of these up at the town hall. And that they'll just need to record their name that they have one. We'll have a list of 22 uh, residents who has them and who doesn't. 
And at some point, if no one's picked one up, we'll probably have Emmett hand deliver them. But right now, you know, we'll, we'll do it that way. We'll leave them at the, the town hall um, to keep it ready. So nine to 12, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. So that's the time when someone's there. Yeah. Um, and if they would please call before they came because the door is locked and everything yeah. is masked, so they want to make sure they're coming. Okay. Okay. If anyone out there online didn't hear, Don just said the offices are Monday through Wednesday, nine to noon. And if you're coming to pick up a lateral, call ahead of time uh, as the doors are locked. So that'll be a more information to pass off to your neighbors as well. So anything else? I appreciate you coming and your comments. Um, and we, like I said, we come into the communities and help them through this stuff. And uh, we just want to be part of the team and make sure that this goes smooth for everybody. And uh, we'll take it from here. And uh, we, you'll be seeing contractor move in now and you'll see our guys out there. So if you've got any questions? Definitely ask and we'll move forward. And you'll hear again when the system's up and running, we'll get more information out. Very similar package, just as a reminder. And Don, you're going to address the water gathering on all the Yeah, that's just so that there's definitely something going on. I don't think it's going to affect I think they're going to run into it, but. Yeah, I would, well, definitely. I don't know, but it's definitely getting worse. Well, if, so, uh, if tradition holds, there's the water main and then the hook, the line to shut up is two foot inside my property line. Tradition holds mm -hmm. from other communities that I've lived in. So if I measure from that, you got to be 10 feet away, then you got to be 12 feet back from it. But then you have the trail, then you have Ameritax got fiber optic back there. Right. And I know that fiber optics in there because when you cut through, they cut through the original Quincy culvert, which was going underneath my property. Yeah. And MJO is responsible for locating all existing utilities. And, and if there's adjustments that need to be made. I know where that line's right at because I was yeah. right back there yeah. when they dug the hole. You'll see them coming out anyway. They still yeah. have to call uh, 811 Mystic. So. And they're even reporting starting to fail mark that they can't start digging. Absolutely. Well, I just, I know where everything's at. I, I know where all my lines are. I yeah. know where all my stuff is. Because yeah. one, my own curiosity. Two, I have my pump now taped every other year. Right? I have it done on yeah. a consistent basis. Yeah. One, it needs to be done, and I just don't want a headache. I'd rather pay the money and get it done. Yeah. All right? As for, I've got a sand pile back there and I've got a tractor with a bucket. And I'll tell you right now, I can get mine pumped and filled. Just like that. Eh? Good. Because otherwise, if you pull the tank, then you got hazardous waste. Yeah. And then you really pay up the laws of. No, then we can put it on the sand bank with the bio solid. Hey, that would be an I idea. Didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Can you use your state work where that is? <laughs> yeah. I really didn't say that. Exactly. The recording is stopped. I know right? where you're at. <laughs> where, what is I know where the exit is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs>